I recently read that Disney Plus is raising its price to $10 a month. There will be an ad version though for like $7.99. It makes sense when you see the quality content they're putting out. I'm being sarcastic. Speaking of which, let's talk about I Am Groot. I Am Groot is a, what? Well, oh, <laughs> baby Groot's here. He's right, right down there. What's that bud? Oh, he's saying you should subscribe to Adam Does Movies so you don't miss any future episodes. Thanks. Off you go. Oh my god. He's dead. I Am Groot stars that lovable tree Pokemon from the Guardians of the Galaxy films. This lovable scamp is voiced by Vin Diesel. That's right. Vin Diesel is still receiving checks for this character. Amazing. This series, I think, is five episodes. I say I think because I'm not actually sure if Disney's treating this as a series. IMDB listed as one, but when I fired up the app on my computer, they weren't listed as five episodes. I had to hunt down each one individually. There was no convenient way to play them all in a row, and one doesn't go to the next episode. Now, it's possible it's just the app sucks on the computer. I didn't try it out on the TV, but as it stands, I Am Groot makes no sense any way you dice him. There are five episodes, as I've stated. They are three minutes long. Each episode claims to be around five and a half minutes, but once you take away the 25 second intro and the minute and a half ending, you're left with just over three minutes and some change. I'll be the first to tell you I'm not good at math, but it seems like a show shouldn't have one third of its runtime be dedicated to the credits. That doesn't seem to add up. To summarize, Disney has spent the last couple of years marketing and advertising a TV show that is 15 minutes in length. And not only that, it's geared to six-year-olds. That's not a bad thing, right? Six-year-olds watch shows, they watch tons of stuff. In fact, they watch so much garbage, I wonder why this is the target audience. It's not like those kids went out and saw the Guardians of the Galaxy. Probably shouldn't have at six. I mean, I mean I'm not judging. My son probably saw the movie when he was six for all I remember. All I'm saying is this just seemed like a really odd decision to make. Five episodes all released at once, randomly scattered throughout the app, almost as if Disney didn't care about the product. They just wanted to say, hey, look, there's more content. We're coming out with stuff all the time. That's what the jaded part of me says. The other half of me that's also jaded, that's right, I'm a fully jaded individual at this point, but there's shades, there's degrees of jadedness. This is the less harsh one, says, this is pointless. As I stated, kids will watch literal trash as long as it's on a tablet. So you didn't need to spend a bunch of money to develop these episodes that are incredibly simplistic and not very interesting. I mean, one episode features Groot taking a bath. Another episode is him having a dance off with some weird blobby creature. None of them go anywhere. It looks perfectly nice. The animators VX department did a good job there. Again though, like they could have used their talents elsewhere and made something that was actually a little bit more interesting to watch than Groot just saying his name a couple times and knocking over a shrub for three minutes. Show of hands class, who remembers the Pixar short Bernie? I do, I remember it, it was great, it was classic. It was exclusively a Blu-ray extra to go buy Wally. like you needed a reason to buy that bad boy on Blu-ray, it's a beautiful film, love it. I'm sure I don't know if it's on Disney Plus, I would guess it is, check it out, it's actually really clever, especially if you recently watched Wally. -E. because Bernie directly plays off the movie in very clever ways. For instance, in the film, there's a scene where Wally's -E's flying around dancing in space and one of the lights gets knocked loose. Bernie's job is to repair said light. So then we take it from his point of view as he's out there doing that and we as an audience can relate and say, oh, that's really clever and funny how they tied it directly into the movie. So while this is going on, that's going on, it just brings more life into the universe. Had the writers really thought this through or tried it all, they could have watched the first two Guardians films. I guess he has to be Baby Groot since that's what we went with. They could have watched the second movie and really played off of the character there. Showed him doing things in between the moments of the movie. And again, three minute episodes, this is so useless. Much like a grown man bitching about it on the internet, but <laughs> here we are. It's content. Subscribe for content. Thanks for watching the video. Since you're still here, maybe you really like my content. In which case, you can follow me on TikTok at Adam Does Movies. I'm slowly trying to get my stuff on that platform, so it'd be nice to have some people following me. 
I'm also on Twitter. You can you can see some sarcastic comments once in a while there, some smart ass commentary. It's go, it's a good time. If you really like what I'm doing, maybe go ahead and I am Groot that join button. If you didn't know what I said, I said smash that join button and join me here, become a member or on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies.